Hey guys, it's Jacqueline from Stage Right Secrets. I'm here with half of Secret Someone's. How are you guys? We're great. Good. How are you? Good. Start off with, what is your go-to karaoke song? Oh my god. You know, I don't think I have a go-to karaoke really? song. Yeah, I don't really do it that... What's the one that we did at the at the end of oh, the last Oh, you guys tour? did... Um... Oh, All we do three Shania girls. Twain. Yeah, we Shania do Shania Twain. Twain. Still yeah, the man, one I love. still the one. Oh, I love. oh, you did. Man, I feel. Man, it feels like a man. Oh, I feel like a woman. Yeah. Yeah, man, feel like, it feels like a woman. Man, it feels like a woman. <laughs> hey. No, but I feel like Shania Twain is like you want something that's upbeat. Yeah. And you can play Power to. Shania is definitely one of our favorites. Yeah. I I always go for Prince jams oh. at yeah? karaoke. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which Prince jams? Because when else do you get to sing them? You know. That's true. You guys have well, you released your EP and now you have a new album coming out. So can we expect any new music or music videos soon? Yeah, you can. Our we just shot a video for our next single, Let You Go, and that'll be coming out soon. As will that song will be coming out before the album as a single, and the album's coming out. Uh, sometime in May, and yeah, we're out on tour right now with Jukebox the Ghost yeah. and Twin Forks. And, yeah. Good lineup with all three of you guys. It's a really good show. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. We're having a blast. And we're we've we've kind of been playing on tour. What will be the album for the last year oh, awesome. or so? So the same batch of tunes. We have a couple new songs. So if anyone's seen us or plans to see us, then they'll kind of get a sneak peek of the album, which comes out in May. This is true. I concur. <laughs> May, you can expect that. That's exciting. Um, and you guys are all songwriters, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, so where's the weirdest place you guys have come up with a concept for a song or actually written a song? I mean, we have written most of the songs for the record at, um, at Bess's, who's not here right now, at her house, Bess and Hannah's house. Um, I think, I mean, the, the, the one that sticks out to me is Let You Go, actually, we wrote, I was recording with Bess's husband, Chris, who's the producer of our records as well, and um, Bess had, she started, we were in her kitchen, and we were like drinking, and it was late at night, it was like two at this point, and she was like, I started writing this song, and it's kind of weird, because it's about you, and about this, I was going through a really hard time, and then we ended up, I was like, oh my god. That's great. And then we ended up finishing it in her kitchen until like five in the morning. That's not really that weird of a place, but that's the that's like the one with the uh, it sticks out the most to me. Were you guys eating anything in the kitchen? No, we were just drinking some whiskey. Mm. <laughs> I mean, what's <laughs> little, little liquid lunch. <laughs> just as good. Any weird places for you? Uh, I can't, nothing comes to mind. We did, we did write a song last night with Jukebox the Ghost uh, called I Met My Ex-Wife in St. Louis. That's a, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, so look for that. Uh, I'm just kidding. You'll never hear it. But, uh, I really hope to hear this. <laughs> it's, we make up songs in the van a lot, like yeah. stupid ones, which yeah. is a lot of fun. And sometimes we Instagram our little jingles for pee in my bed. We didn't do that one yet. We wrote this one one night. We spent a long time in the van for no reason coming up with harmonies for this stupid thing that we thought was funny. And then we, we taped it and we taped it over and over and over on the phone because we thought we were going to post it. And then maybe you might accidentally pee in your bed. And then sleep in it. And then sleep Rather than get up and clean yourself off. That is like a really good and I think relatable song to most. People, Who yeah. can't relate to that? No, yeah. Sometimes mm. you gotta pee, you don't want to get up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys had a dating profile, what would it say on it? As a band or as individuals? You can do individuals. Like in if you band. were gonna date secret someones? Yeah, you can do that. Let's do that. And just a, three gals and a guy looking for a good time. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Likes. Likes. Uh, likes. Whiskey. Whiskey. Coffee. Coffee. Okay. Long walks on the beach, obviously. Sweet guitar jams. <laughs> Dislikes. You got anything? <laughs> we you don't dislike, dislike anything. <laughs> uh, bad coffee. Bad coffee, okay. That's good. Short walks on the beach. <laughs> 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 Guys, you can go on Tinder now, swipe right, secret someone's. Swipe yes. right for secret someone's. Tommy and I were actually talking about doing tour Tinder. So last question for you guys. <laughs> can you name all the NSYNC members? Yes. Absolutely. Go for it. 
Justin, JC, Joey, Chris, Lance. Boom. What else do you need? <laughs> I, I, do you know the Backstreet Boys? Yeah. Um, let me see if I can do the Backstreet Boys. Brian, AJ, uh, Kevin, Howie, and... Oh, come on. Is he like the best one or something? Oh, no. He's, well, I mean, he's most <laughs> known. He's most known. Chris? No, no that's no, in sync. Chris Kirkpatrick. You got this. What, what did I say? Brian, He's AJ. The whiny blonde one. Mm -hmm. Isn't that? Oh, Nick Carter. Thank you. I'm yes. so sorry. This is so good.